we begin with the sheet of cardstock that is 12 inches by 6 inches. From this piece of cardstock, we will cut six rectangles. The measurements of the rectangles are six inches by 1.5 inches for the two outside rectangles. The larger rectangles in the center are 4.5 inches by 4 inches, and the smaller rectangles in the center are 2 inches by 4.5 inches. These rectangles are used as follows. The long, narrow rectangle is used for the pivot. The larger rectangle is used for the outside pivot housing. The other rectangle is used for the inside pivot housing. We will only need one pivot. Let's begin by folding the pivot. To fold the pivot, we need to divide the length of the rectangle into nine segments. We begin by a quick and dirty method to fold the rectangle into thirds. We fold it over to approximately one third, rounding the edges. And the same thing on the other side. We get them as matched as closely as possible. And crease down. Now we take a look at the top. We fold over so that there is an equal amount of paper on either side. It's a bit of an optical illusion. It'll appear that the, the paper in the center is smaller. Again, the goal is to have equal amounts of paper on either side. When we fold this back to the center line, you will find that it is divided this nearly into thirds. If it's off just a little bit, it will not matter too much. So that's one, two, three, and we use this, these lines now as a guide to make the remaining folds. We fold over on this line, we fold over on this line, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We use the last three lines as a guide for the, the remaining folds. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine segments divided by eight lines. We want the lines all folded in the same direction. So we fold all lines over in the same direction, creasing tightly. Next, we fold the rectangle in half lengthwise, creasing sharply. We want to refold the previous creases across the entire model, always going in the same direction.
The next step is to fold swivel folds at an angle of 135 degrees. To fold the swivel fold, we first bend up the previous fold. We bend the paper with a point at the top as the pivot point and swivel the paper over, not creasing sharply yet. We need a guide to determine where exactly 135 degrees is. To do that, we can take our leftover piece of paper, fold over a diagonal, and this angle will be 135 degrees. Now we match the two edges to the paper underneath, making sure that we have the corner sharply located, and we crease it down. This forms our pivot fold of 135 degrees. Take a careful look at the paper at this point. The next step is to unfold the pivot fold, open the paper, Locate the line that is in the center of this small chevron. Pinch the paper and fold back along the lines of the pivot fold. We are going to repeat this process on all of the segments. I'm going to fold all the remaining pivot folds. Notice the corners here on the unfolded edges. You want to keep that corner sharp as you can using your guide to see if you have 135 degrees. Make the next pivot fold. Using your guide to line it up. Next pivot fold. Use your guide to line it up. When you've created all the pivot folds, you should have an octagon with a sm very small circle in the center. You want to make one more little fold on the end that matches the folds along the other sides. Now let's nest all our folds. We can begin by nesting the end fold. You push up on the paper, pinch, and fold. Push up on the straight line, pinch, and fold. Using the, the lines you fight, the pivot folds you folded as guides. It begins to shape around in a circle. Push up, pinch, fold. Push up, pinch, fold. If one of the other folds comes undone, just simply refold it again. The last couple folds will be made above the folds you've made previously. As best you can, you want to line up the last two edges. 
the hole in the center will be quite small. Fold all your edges over as tightly as you can. Next, we open up the edges. We nest this V-shape into the V-shape of the last fold so that they come together. And we have our completed pivot.